Hello everybody, this is Lance at Ledbetter RC Air Force and today we're going to do another little, uh, it's not necessarily FR Sky, well I guess it is, but uh, I'm going to show you how I go through and set up my flaps before I actually even plug them into the receiver and uh, what this does is it kind of ensures that you don't overdrive your servos it's it's the same thing even with the ailerons elevators or whatever you know you can always like right here if your throw is too much see this flap is all the way down already and so if that control arm goes further to the left over here it's going to bind everything up and so i'm going to show you today how to set that up and it works the same for ailerons elevators rudder all of that and the way i do it is i do it i this little servo checker here i got this off ebay it's about 10 bucks and uh they work really great and the best thing to do is even before you put your servos mount them on the wing you know on your mount is to plug your servo into this servo checker which in this case is going to be the flap but when you turn it on there is no telling where it's going to be but for the most most part all your servos the center point on your servo is going to be at around at 1500 it's real touchy but anyway so right around 15 right there it's close enough all right now plug your servo into this checker and get your your servo will be centered and then you can put your arm on at that point at a 90 degree angle or however you need it and it's going to be where you want it in a neutral position all right so let's say you've done all that you've got your servo mounted in your in your wing and you're hooked up all right so we're sitting at 14 or just say 1500 so we're neutral so i'm going to plug this in this is my flap servo now i'm going to plug it into this servo checker all right so right at 1500 would be pretty close to my takeoff flaps which looks like a very good spot so what we want to do is the, this no, these numbers are going to be what we use to set up our flaps in the transmitter so if you can see right now I'm turning this knob and that number is it's going up all right and the flap is going down all right so about right right there 1703 is going to be with my flaps all the way up that's the number so what you want to do is write this number down on a piece of paper all right so now we want to set so we've got 1700 we know our our middle point is at 1500 so now we want to have find where we would be like in our landing flap position and that should be probably going to be around I like it right there around 1360 somewhere in there all right so we want to write that down 1360 all right so now we got 1703 1500 and 1360 all right now I'm gonna turn this off now since we know what what we want our throws to be I'm gonna turn this off and I'm gonna reposition some stuff I'm gonna get the transmitter out and I'm gonna show you where to put in these numbers to where when you plug this flap into your receiver everything should be right on the money and it's all done be right back all right guys now we're back uh, all right now what I did is this this is just for test purposes so 
Anyway, I set up a plane, and I've already bound up the receiver, which I'm pretty sure everybody's to that point by now. Um, so what we're going to do is go into our mixer page, and as you can see, the very bottom one down here is going to be our flaps. And we're going to have to assign these flaps to a switch, because you can see them three little bars right there which means it's not assigned to anything. So you can come down here and highlight that and click on it and it, then it's going to say you want to hit edit. Okay? It's already named flaps. Active condition we want to leave all, always on and the input is what we need to change. And we'll click on input and you're going to need to decide where you want your what switch you want your flaps on. I always put mine right here. So all you do is just flip that switch and that will select it. And then click on the outside and you can see right there on the input now, it says switch SA. All right. Now scroll down where it says weight. And this defaults to 30%, which nobody really knows why. But anyway, as you can see over here on the graph, it doesn't have a whole lot of movement. So what we want to do is highlight that, and we want to turn this up to 100%. All right, we get out of that. Okay, now we're, we're done with the flat page. Okay, so here's where we're going to put in our numbers. So we'll go back out. And we want to go into outputs. And our flap is on channel 5. So we want to click on that. Up here at the top, there's a number. And I think right now it's at like 988 or something to that effect. Okay. So what we want to do is we don't want 988. That's going to over travel our flap. So we're going to scroll down and right here where it says minimum it says minus 100 so we're going to highlight that and we're going to turn up till this number up here is at 1360. it takes a little bit and i'm hoping you can see that number but if not you'll just have to Believe me when I tell you, I'll get it to 1360. I don't know if you're kind of like me anymore these days. Nobody trusts anybody. Uh, still a little bit. I can't even hardly see it. I've already put in a request to FR Sky that they've figure out a way to make that number big make those bigger we can see okay so that's set now at 1360 and as you can see we've turned it all the way down to a negative 27 all right so we get out of that go down to the next one click on it all right so what you want to do now is you're going to flip your switch to the op all the way opposite position and see now we're at little over 2000 and we need this number to be 1703 so click on that all right click on that and start down and you'll see this number is coming down All right, 1703. All right, so we're good there. So this should all work. I mean, you, you should all be set up. Because uh, right now we're at 1703. I'm going to go to my middle position. And it's, it's already at 1500. And all the way up position is at 1360. So now, when you plug that flap into the receiver, it should 
be preset and done. Now also, if this switch is backwards, if your if your flaps are backwards, whenever you uh, hook them up, you can go right here where it says invert and you have normal, just highlight that and that will change the direction of travel of your flaps. And also while I'm in here on flaps, you, right here at the very bottom you're going to see slow up and slow down now what this does it will change the speed of how how fast your flaps go up and down and they're they're kind of backwards or it is to me but anyway so slow down is your flaps going back up and slow up is your flaps going back the other way but we'll go ahead and change them I'll just I'm gonna put some random numbers in there I'm gonna put like one in 1.3 seconds and then when we hook them up to the deal you'll see that they're how they're moving and you can put these wherever you want if you want it just one second you may want them even slower than what I have mine or they don't have to be the same all right so we're gonna get all the way out of this we should be done with that and I'm gonna turn this off and get the receiver and everything hooked up and we're gonna turn it on and we're gonna show you how they working and we'll be right back all right now we've got we've got our our flap this is our flap and number channel number five is uh, hooked up to our receiver now I'm gonna flip the switch right now the switch is all the way up which would be in my flying position which is they look great right there well it helps if you turn on the receiver all right that should work a little better all right right now my switch is up and uh, like I said flying position uh, there's gonna be the middle position on my switch which would be my takeoff flaps and then flip the switch all the way down and that would be your landing flaps and as you can see they're not just slamming they've, they've got a little slower movement to them than what normally would if you didn't put any of the adjust the speed and like i said if you want them slower you can go to two seconds on that deal and uh this this all works on your you know th this works on all your control surfaces it uh it works on, you know, ailerons, uh, elevators, rudders. You, you know, you can use that servo checker. I'll show you this one more time. Uh, like I said, about ten bucks on eBay, and uh, it's a, it's really a great tool to uh, keep you from making some mistakes and tearing up something when you're trying to set the plane up. I hope this helps. Uh, we'll try and do some more down the road. Uh, thanks for watching. See you later.